What up, been this John's your boy IBS Kelso coming back with another MX Bikes banger. In today's video, we're going to be racing the new 2024 Yamaha 250F. I think this is the most explosive bike in the 250 pack. Now, keyword explosive, not the fastest, okay? This thing literally screams just like your Deegan in IRL, okay? This is all about high RPMs, and I think that's what makes this bike so good in Supercross is because you can get right back onto the power anywhere, anytime, any place. And we're here at Anaheim 1 to where we really get to test this bike in the whoops where it really struggled in beta 18, and now we're in beta 19, and this thing is an absolute animal. Still got the dragons back, and we have no pre-made ruts, so this is a really good test. I hope you guys enjoy the setup. Hit that like button, subscribe button. Let's get right on the gate, baby. On the freaking gate, who do you hate, man? I generally think this thing pulls on almost every bike. Go, go, go! Oh my god! Get a little hiccup. Actually started in fourth gear, I believe, right there. That was kind of crazy. Go double. Can I get this triple out? Oh, it's a good little stretch. Looks like we're gonna have a little battle with Misael here. Looks like we're gonna have a little battle here with Misael here. As he goes a little case and I case a little bit. 10 minutes on the clock. This is a marathon. Not a sprint. The little freaking quad in. I'm showing, I'm showing that cheese. I'm showing that the Yamaha can do the cheese. Whole shot device, yeah. locker in to and do I'm 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 going I'm doing no remorse on this track no remorse if I can be gone I can be gone I'm out of here Audi 5 I'm trying to put a burner with this bike I'm trying to show y'all this thing is an absolute beast I did sprinkle out the setup with to other riders in here so other people do have the setup so hopefully it leads them to the promised land. Also, hopefully you guys are getting the setup sprinkled through the video right now. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna be freaking hard at work right now. I'm, I'm trying to freaking put a murder. I'm trying to put 25 seconds down on him, baby. Go, go, go! The triple in, nice. It's gonna work it through the sand. This is the 2024 Yamaha as well. 2024. Uh-oh. Went a little wide. That was on me. I went way too wide. That's okay. Little case. That's okay. Nice little triple in. Got a little scrub. I got a second drop. Too easy. Oh my goodness. Yes, yeah, bike, I don't know what it is. I gotta give a huge shout out to my boy Stratos. Um, he kind of sent me like a half setup, and then I ended up playing with the other half of the setup, and we actually ended up finding kind of a good middle ground for where this bike is. I think it really realistically, this bike is good, a lot of power, but where it lacks is trying to keep this front end in a good stiff situation without keeping it too stiff. And I think we have a really good spot. So huge shout out to Stratos, kind of working this in with me. Um, be sure to go check my boy out. Link will be down in the description below. My guy, bro. Get this quad in. Perfect. Perfect. Trying to put on a clinic. Trying to put on a murder. There we go. Get scrub right there. Should have put on the controller overlay. I totally forgot about it. It's just super consistent, really good bounce. 1249 is where it's at. Uh, I fluctuate from a 1249, 1349, and a 1453. I don't know. I just think these these different bike setups or these these different things are just kind of where it's at. This bike is all about screaming, so the 1453 is about as good and screaming side of it. 1249 is really where it's at. I mean, it's just a lot of shifting, right? The, the gearing already not actually sucks. Just, it's not a long gearing on the drivetrain, so you got to make sure you find that middle ground to make it work. And, dude, this thing is absolutely nuts. As we're almost up to a 10 second gap, got to keep applying that pressure. Good 
Good jump again. I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll take that. I won't take that. Dang it. I thought I was going to hit it. I thought I was going to hit the quad. Get up. Gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go. Nobody saw that. Oh, I let him come back. I let him come back. I'm trying to do the cheese, man. I'm trying to hit that cheese. I let him come back. Now he's back on my backbone. He is riding this bike, too, so I think he's starting to get the flow. He is on the he is on the setup, so I think he's starting to get the flow. Fifth gear through the whoops, too, man. That is just absolutely gnarly. Boom, bang, bang, bang. Go, go, go. Back wheel. Good scrub. Good scrub. Staying low. He's else gonna be a force to be reckoned with. He actually starts getting the groove, man. He's he's a dangerous guy. He's a dangerous guy on a bike, so I gotta be careful. He's an upcoming amateur trying to make it to that freaking semi-pro situation. And when he starts feeling it, dude, he's gone. Not gonna hit no crazy cheese here. Just go for a little tri triple in. Do another triple single out. W. Nice. It's a 108 mid race, mid pack race. I think the fastest I've ran on this was a 107 on this bike. Fastest I've ran was a 107, dude. So we're kind of pushing P right now. Aim at a little angle, a little sideways. Still able to make it happen. Scrub. Oh, the Yami fire or what, dude? Setup's coming out tomorrow. We're in this video right now. Yeah, dude, it's freaking nasty. <laughs> Stupid. Stupid, man. Said I graduated from the pro scene and now I'm a crackhead. I'm a crackhead status, oh my goodness. That's where the elite status is. Taking everybody out that you see on the freaking track. It's crackhead status. W. Three minutes left. Trying to show some love. Still got Misael not too far off. He's on that dragon's bag. So I'm definitely I'm definitely finding spots just to stay faster. I think it's just all in technique. Good triple in. Over the table. Not gonna be able to hit it. Let's go ahead and double out. The consistency is just where it's at on this bike though. The screamer. Also, I really enjoy this uh, the handguards. The handguard model swap is actually pretty gnarly. And I kind of enjoy the, uh, s I guess the Moto Club skin that someone made on MXB Mods. This thing is actually a dub. They got the white and the black version on it, dude. It's just nasty, bro. There we go. Oh, a little bit of tough blocks. Oh, I saw it. I really want to go for that 107. Dude. If I can get a mid-race 107, dude, that's gnarly. I mean, we're... Oh. Going over the bars. I saw it. I saw it happen. I saw it happen. Yo, 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 yo. I let him come back again. Dang it. Little mistakes I'm making. Oh my god. Thank you. I appreciate you. Nice. Just making it scream. That's the only thing, dude. You're like basically screaming this bike in front of your ear the whole time. That is the only thing. It's just, it's so short freaking RPMs, dude. You're going to be screaming no matter what. You're always at the, I think that's why I run 1249 as well. I'm always at like the best RPMs for the bike. I'm always being able to keep up the top speed of it. Not top speed, but at least like a good amount of power. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Perfect. It's a good run. Let's keep driving. Good run up the dragon's bag. I miss dragon's bags, to be honest with you. 
I think that's why I enjoy playing Anaheim 1 a lot, dude. I miss Dragon's Bags. It's not like the it's not the easiest task hitting the Dragon's Bag. Oh gosh. Not the easiest task hitting the Dragon's Bag, I'll be 100% honest. Way to stretch it, dude. Just so much freaking torque in second here, dude. Oh gosh, save it. Money. Chicken noodle. Scrub. Oh! Jump it! Oh, I'm definitely choking. Way too much of a scrub. Way too much of a scrub right there. Looking like a scrub now. Oh! 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 Are you him? Not no more. I'm, dude, I'm trying to push it so I can get to this 107, dude. But time just expired, so it looks like we're gonna be on, I believe, last lap cheese, or we got one more after this. We're gonna come to the, this lap and then one more. We're cooking. But we're cooking. Yep, we got this lap coming up and then one more. Let's try to set a burner. Let's go for some crazy, crazy scrubs. Keeping all that speed up around the corner. Good scrub. Big triple. Nice, dude. This freaking bike is insane. Pull it together, man. I know. I thought I was, like, literally trying to do it. If I went to fell a little bit of times, I probably would have had, like, a 20 second, maybe, like, 15 second gap right now, but I'm keeping it up to, like, 10 seconds against Misael. Like, every time I pull away, then I fall. And it's like, oh, I lost all that time. Nice. Let's go. All right, last lap cheese coming up. Last lap cheese coming up. Here we go. Jump it. Oh, easy money. Scrub, last up, cheese. Let's do it. Oh, no. Can I make it in? I most definitely can. Can I make it over? A little bit of mistakes, but we're Gucci. A little bit of froggy roos. Last up, cheese, bro. I tell you, bro. It's like, I'd be thinking I'm about to go X Games mode, then last lap cheese is definitely the biggest thing ever. Look, it's coffee. Center upside down. Get a little wheel tap. For the boys. Well, victory lap, man. Thank you guys for watching. Appreciate you. Hopefully the setup does you right. Hopefully to see a little bit more Team Blue out there. Be sure to give me some love if you say that you did try the setup out and you actually like it. Be like, yep, Kelso's the go. Kelso and Stratos is the go. Kelso and Stratos, you need to go. Thank you guys, man. Catch you guys in the next one. Bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. Peace.